midfielder, number seven, Don Tobin. Forward, number nine, Art Greer. to start the game for Canton, Art Kramer at midfield with Steve Maurer and Steve Moyers at the forward spots, Oscar Pisano and Tom Condrich on defense. <clears throat> Excuse me, in goal for the Invaders, Jamie Swanner. Record of 8-1, 3.80 goals against average, both the top stats in the league now. And it's Paul Zimmerman in the net for Chicago. He leads the league in wins with 13. He also has seven losses. Goals against average of 4.90. He's been the Iron Man in goal, playing more minutes than any other goalkeeper in the league. The rest of the starting lineup for Chicago. The forward line is uh, Chris Karabatsis with Ruben Stevan and Nick Dozen. And your defenders are Louis Matus and uh, Martin Rincon. Chicago 14 and 8, the Invaders 14 and 4. It's a two-game lead for Canton. In the Northern Division, the Invaders would like to stretch that to three with a victory tonight. Canton has won 31 in a row here on their home field, and they are 10 and 0 here in the Civic Center this year. Chicago has uh, built that 14 and 8 record uh, on the strength of a 7 and 1 home mark. The Shockers are 7 and 7 on the road entering play tonight. Top two offensive teams in the league. The Invaders scoring 6.39 goals per game and Chicago 5.82. The Invaders, the number two defense, just by a hair in the league. Tampa Bay leads at 4.21. Then the Invaders at 4.22. Chicago is back in the number six position. They are giving up 4.95 goals per game. Sanchez of Memphis at 4.31 and the Invaders, Billy Domofsky at 4.33 the top goalkeepers in the league. Valencia leads the league in scoring. Comrie is second. He's here tonight. Then Rudy Pikasinski of the Invaders is third. Rudy has played three fewer games than the other two. Jockers put the ball in play. They dump it ahead to Dosen. Dosen can't red line, moves to the right side, picked up by Pisano. We're underway. Shot and a relatively easy save for Swanner. And the outlet red line on the right side comes out to Steve Maurer. Dump it back to Oscar Pisano. Invader defensive core still a little bit depleted tonight. Uh, Walt Schlothauer still out. Pikasinski centering ball comes up behind Kia. There was a whistle and a foul on Chicago as Rudy got held by Stevan. That's the first team foul. The Invaders will kick it in the Chicago defensive zone. Don Tobin will be the trigger man from the left corner. 
We played 26 seconds at the Civic Center. No score. Denzel Antonio also out with those torn knee ligaments. So the four guys that play, uh, Tima, Pisano, Kondrich, and Paxos, and then Trevor Dawkins is dressed in reserve. Those are the only five defenders that are healthy right now. Tobin back to Tima. Tima shot blocked out of play by Dosen, and the Invaders will put it in again from the touchline on the left side. And Chicago will put some fresh folks in. Steve Swanson, David Wolf, Neil Swindell, Keith Falk. Swindell just got hit by the ball as they threw it back in. And Elvis Comrie. Comrie, the second leading scorer, broke the league record for points in a game with nine in a 13-4 blowout over Louisville earlier in the season. And the Art Kramer line is in. Hardy will put it in play. Wall pass out front. It's loose. Mauer shot. No rebound. Centered behind Moyers. And Comrie chases it down against the sideboards. Tries to put a move around Kramer. And gets it out to midfield. Elvis Comrie up the right side of the floor. Condridge back on D for Canton. Tomo picked him clean. Here come the invaders the other way. Right side feed at midfield to Pisano. Oscar working on Folk across the red line. Comrie to double team. And they back it up at the edge of the circle to Condridge. Tomo, left side of the corner. They want Maurer. Wolf tries to bat it away. Maurer has it off the boards, but it's deflected. And Swindells clears it out to Falk at the red line. Lead ball for Comrie. And he was behind the defender, but Swanner came out of the net to slap it away. Pisano tried to back it in, taken away. Falk shot wide to the right side. And the rebound comes out to an Art Kramer, who is all alone. And the Invaders go back on the attack. 13.40 to play first period. No score at the Civic Center. Pisano right side at midfield. Puts a move on Falk. Feeds it down and it goes past Maurer in the corner. And Wolf tried to get it in, but Ma Moyers was in his way. And now Maurer with a heel pass. Nobody home out front. Swindell comes out for Chicago. Ahead for Comrie and it was knocked away by Condrich. And the Invaders will be back on defense as Chicago will put it in play in the Canton zone. Touch line on the right side with 13.23 to play in the period. Rudy Pikasinski, Kia, and Don Tobin coming in as the forward line. And Tim Tima and Mike Paxos in on defense. Tima had come in for a minute on the other line and then back out. Now he's back in on his regular line. Ruben Stevan drops it back. Rincon shot wide to the left. Dosen double teamed in the corner and it's knocked out of play by Pisano. Or rather by uh, Paxos, excuse me. 13-16 to play. No score here. It'll be Ruben Stevan putting it in play from the left corner for Chicago. Stevan taps it out. Rincon put it in the stage. Goal kick invaders. We talked about Tampa Bay possibly burning out Arnie Mauser, and you got to wonder if Chicago could eventually do the same thing to Paul Zimmerman. He's playing an awful lot, and they have another healthy keeper in Jose Garcia, and he's not a bad keeper either. In fact, Garcia, who's 1-0 and, and has played in five games, actually has a lower goals against average than Zimmerman does. Jamie Swanner with the ball in the box ahead outside the arc to Don Tobin. Toby out across the red line, dumps it ahead for Rudy Pikasinski. Rudy working on Rincon on the right side. Pinned up against the boards, and Karabatsis coming the other way for Chicago. Lost the ball. Rudy, and he got fouled, and the push goes against Pikasinski. Team fouls even at one apiece. Midfield off the foot of Paxos. It goes out of play. Touch last by Chicago, though. Karabatsis got a piece of it. And it'll go out to the Invaders. 12.52 to play in the first period. Invaders will put it in play at midfield on the right side, right in front of their own bench. Team fouls even at one apiece. Nobody in any foul trouble at this point. We've had uh, no scoring so far in a little more than two minutes. They tried to tap it on the point to Pisano. Comrie stepped in front. Clears it out to Falk. Back to Comrie. Knocked away by Swanner. Midfield Swindells working on Moyers. Pass is knocked away by Condrich. Swindell's got it back and put it up in the stage. And it'll be the second goal kick of the night for the Invaders. 12.35 to play in period one. We're scoreless. Invaders trying to go three games up in the Northern Division. Louisville had a chance to take a four-game lead on Tampa Bay in the South Wednesday night. The game was in Louisville, but the Rowdies came out 4-3 in overtime with a win. 
So Tampa Bay tightens it up. There's a centering pass knocked wide into the corner. And Kramer trying to fight for it there, but Swindell's able to clear it the length of the floor. Swanner waits for it in the Canton end. Outlet red line on the right side to Pisano. Oscar across midfield. Picked up in the middle. Shot blocked by Swindells, and the rebound comes all the way back in the Canton end. Comrie can't get it. Swanner taps it ahead to Condrich. 12 minutes to play in the first quarter. Left side at midfield is Pisano. In the corner on the left side now in the zone, it is uh, Moyers. Try to get it back to Oscar. Oscar dumped it back in the corner. Swanson clears it through the box, but it goes over the glass and out of play. And it will be a goal kick because it was touched last by Canton. 11.48 to play in the period. The tobin pikasinski kia line back on the floor for the Invaders. Paxos and Timo on defense. Matus and Rincon, the defenders for Chicago, and Stevan Dozen and Karabatsis, the forward line for the Shockers. Zimmerman, long lead midfield. Dozen, the red line, working on Paxos. Now Tobin to double team. They back it up at midfield to Stevan. Now Rincon, edge of the circle, and it's sent in by Matus. Tima and Karabatsis race into the corner. Now Karabatsis back up, and Rincon put it in the stage again. Shockers are taking a lot of wind and fire type shots from outside, low percentages, and they're not putting them on goal either. That's the third time they've put it out of play from near the red line area, and we've only played three and a half minutes. Offense definitely looks out of kilter without some of their key cogs, and you would expect that. You don't lose guys like Valencia and Glenn and Lashoff all in the same game and uh, keep the offense clicking. Paxos taps it ahead. Don Tobin, you got Rudy open right side. He shot, fires wide to the left. And the rebound comes out and is controlled by Karabatsis for Chicago. Picked up by Tima at midfield. Lead ball on the right side. It goes behind Dosen. Paxos chases in the corner, tries to tap it out. Kia over to double team on Dosen. Outside Matus, and they put it in the stage again. That's four times in less than four minutes that they've gotten under it and put it out of play. Goal kick Canton with 11.04 to play in period number one. Both teams will change lines. The Invaders will have Maurer, Moyers, Kramer with uh, Pisano and Condrich. And it's Comrie, Swindells, Falk, Wolf, and Swanson for Chicago. This is Swanson's first game. He played with Milwaukee for two years and part of this year was let go a couple of weeks ago. Left side at midfield is Tom Condrich. Right of the circle to Pisano. Oscar taps it ahead at the red line to Maurer and back to Pisano at midfield. Oscar for Kramer. Kramer midfield circle and back to Condrich. Shocker spreading the D out a little bit. Kramer back near the red line. Pushes it ahead. Left side Tomo. Chicago red line trying to get inside Maurer. Ball is knocked away and cleared to midfield. And Swanner comes out and chases it down. Taps it ahead to Pisano. Oscar across the midfield line, right side feed to Kramer. Kramer trying to get inside Polk. They pin it up against the boards. Now Maurer over to help out. Maurer goes down. It's cleared out on the point. Pisano winds and fires, blocked up front. And it's cleared out of there by David Wolf. Comrie through the midfield circle, moves to the left side. Ball knocked away from behind by Kramer. And Pisano has it in the Canton zone. The Shockers back up on D immediately. 10.05 to play in the quarter. No score. Kramer left side at midfield to the red line, picked up by Swindell. Swindell's knocked the ball away and touches it ahead. Now this is Falk now right side at midfield. Swindell's for Comrie. Comrie trying to get around Tomo. Shot blocked by Condridge. And uh, Pisano working around Falk in the corner. Again, the Shockers back away as soon as Oscar establishes control of the ball. Kramer, left side midfield, 940 in the period. Hardy off the boards, wanted Moyers, knocked away and cleared out to Comrie at midfield ahead to Falk. Falk with Pisano up the middle of the floor into the red line, shot wide, rebound headed in by Pisano and controlled by Jamie Swanner. Long outlet for Moyers. Moyers trying to get around Wolf. The ball hit him on the hand. It'll go back the other way. And that'll be the second foul on the Invaders on the handball by Steve Moyers. Swanson with the ball at the red line for Chicago. Ahead for Comrie. Elvis Comrie backing it up in their own end. Stevon taps it in the goal box for Zimmerman. He can't pick it up. Long lead, and it's too far. Three-line violation. Take it back to the Chicago red line. 
9-11 to play in the first quarter. We're scoreless here at the Civic Center. Invaders looking for their 32nd straight win on their home floor. Chicago's only won once here in two and a half years. No team in the league has won more than one game in this building. Don Tobin, right side at midfield, now on the left side to Timmy Tima. Tima backs it up to Paxos. Paxi moving to the right, ahead to Tobin. Airborne for Tima, he plots it off his head, get it on the floor. Try to get it into Kia over his head, controlled by Zimmerman. Long lead, you got uh, Dosen coming up to the right side of the floor in the corner, picked up by Paxos. Out front, Stevan, left side, Karabatsis. Karabatsis back to the net on Tima. And now he turns and faces the net. They chase it in the corner. They both go down, and the foul goes against Tim Tima as Karabatsis ran over him and got the trip. Third foul on the Invaders, 8.29 in the period. Stevan out on the point. Matus around one. It's Rincon down in the corner. Tobin knocked it away to Pikazinski. Rudy, Rudy clears it out to midfield. Matus giving pursuit. Chase it down in the Chicago end. Dump it in the goal box for Zimmerman. I'd let Rincon on the right side. Tobin picks him up. They send it ahead, and uh, Dosen slipped and fell. And that will allow Paxos to chase it down in the invader and unmolested. Now Don Tobin at the Canton red line. Comrie to pick him up at midfield. Toby moves to the right and feeds Tima. Now the left side to Paxos. Paxos, the ball for Kia was too far. Knocked right back to Paxos, though, by Matus. Paxi around one, around two. To the right side, trying to get away from Stevan. Backs it up at midfield to Timmy Tima. 7.46 in the period. Tima clears right side to Paxos. Paxos picked up by Stevan. And now on the left side, it comes to Don Tobin. 7.38. Tobin ahead. The pass was behind Rudy, taken away by Rincon. And ahead to Comrie. Comrie with Tima with him at midfield. They dump it ahead for Matus. Swanner out of the net, loose out front, knocked away by Paxos. Comrie with a shot blocked by Tobin. He didn't have much on it anyway. And Kia trying to get around one man, taken down, and the pushing foul will go against Chicago, against uh, Martin Rincon, and that's the second foul on the Shockers with 7.18 to play in the first period. And a timeout has been called by the Invaders. We'll take a break. Well, their big scorers, with the exception of Comrie, are not here. And uh, they, they want to make sure that they get the, that they can stay in the game. I think it's going to be the Chicago's advantage to try to keep the tempo down here. Comrie, Folks, Wendells, Swanson, and Wolf on the floor for Chicago. Maurer, Moyers, Tobin, Pisano, and Kondrich, the five men on the field for the Invaders. Or check that, now they've switched around. Kramer with Maurer and Moyers. That's the way it was before. I just messed up on who was playing midfield. 7-10 to play in the period. They push it ahead. Moyers working on Wolf in the right corner. And Wolf takes him down. And that's the third foul on the Shockers. And the team fouls are even now at three apiece. Kramer to put it in play from the right side in the corner. Artie outside. Pisano winds, fires, blocked. Kramer fires again. Oh, he just missed it wide to the left side. And uh, Moyers chases down the rebound, taps it out at midfield to Condrich on the left side. Pushes it up to the right in the red line to Pisano, down in the corner of Maurer. Maurer turns, faces the net, centers. Kramer winds, fires, blocked by Wolf. And the rebound comes outside to Condrich. 6.43 to play. Tomo ahead for Ma Moyers, and he's taken down from behind by Swanson on the header. That's a fourth foul on Chicago. Swanson went out to head him and got him in the back of the legs with his shoulder and took him down. Kramer to put it in play just outside the corner. Feeds Condrich. He fires wide. And Wolf trying to get the wall pass in. Knocked it to Moyers. Cleared out. Condrich shot blocked. And he comes back out to the red line to Pisano. Six and a half minutes in the quarter. Oscar left side of the point to Condrich. Tomo ball blocked by Comrie. But it comes right back to Oscar at midfield. And Pisano dumps it in out in front of the arc to Moyers. Back out to Condrich. Tomo right side to Pisano. 6-16 in the period. Pisano on the left point to Kramer. Kramer. I think they want already closer to the net than that. Maurer on the right side to Pisano. And Pisano with a move around one. Taken down from behind. That's the fifth foul. The push goes against Falk. Next foul against Chicago will put the Invaders in the power play. And a lot of time, 6.05 in the period. And Kramer. Pisano shot blocked out front. Good save by Zimmerman. He had uh, Moyers draped over him and got it away. Swanson dumps it over to Wolf. Wolf clears for Comrie. That could have been the sixth foul. They don't call it. Comrie shot 
wide and slapped into the corner by Swanner. And again, Chicago immediately backs up on D when the Invaders control the ball. They do not want to fall victim to the counterattack. Kramer ahead in the Chicago zone, right corner to Maurer, back on the point to Artie. Kramer with a move on Falk, and he's taken down, didn't get the call, and Falk will clear it out. Falk pushes it ahead, bad pass taken away by Pisano. Ahead to Maurer, obstruction call against Maurer, and that's the fourth foul on the Invaders with 524 in the period. Here's Stevon. Stevon faked the shot, now takes it, blocked by Pisano. Comes out to midfield. Louis Matus has got it there for Chicago and back up to uh, Rincon. Rincon with a move around Kramer through the midfield circle. 5-10 in the period. Rincon shot and hits Stevon in the back and bounces over the glass and out of play. The Invaders will put it in with 5.06 to play in the first quarter. And they'll take advantage of the break in play to change lines. Zimmerman comes over to the bench and there's a timeout called with 5.06 to play in the first quarter. No score here at the Civic Center. Rincon and Matus for Chicago. Bob, after one quarter of play, that big game between Cleveland St. Joe and Canton McKinley, after the first eight minutes, it's Cleveland St. Joe 20, Canton McKinley 11. 20 to 11, Cleveland St. Joe over McKinley after the first quarter. Back to you, Bob. Right side at midfield for the Invaders, Mike Paxos ahead to Tima. Tima in the defensive zone, trying to get inside Rincon. Rincon clears, but it's deflected by Paxos. Tobin in the left corner for Kia. And Kia trying to work around a couple of guys. Ball deflected and cleared out to midfield. And Ruben Stevon controls for Chicago. Bad pass knocked away by Frick to Tima. And Timmy counters with a bad pass of his own, taken away by Rincon. Rincon across the Canton red line. On the left side it comes. And Stevon trying to work on Kia. And Kia picked him clean. Here come the invaders. Two on two. Kia with Rudy. And now Tobin the trailer. Tobin ahead to pick Kaczynski. Rudy in the left corner. Centering ball. Kia couldn't quite get the foot on it. Tima with a follow. Knocked away. And, and there's the sixth foul. Holding call on Stevon. The invaders go on the power play. Time of the penalty will be 10. 57. And Tima is still down in the corner. Steve Morris over to take a look at him. No score here. We're still looking for a goal for our contestant, Cheryl Smith of Canton. And let's see if the Invaders can do it on the power play. Don Tobin. Left side. And Les Scarelli seeing his first action for the Invaders. Has it there. Now Tobin. Now Pisano. Now Toby. Scarelli in the corner. Scarelli back out to Tobin. And Tobin over to Oscar. Oscar. Left side, Toby. Over to Kia. Kia in the right corner. Back to Pisano. And now Tobin. Minute 32 left in the penalty. Pisano. Left side, Tobin. Scarelli. Got inside a man. Put it up in the air. No. Knocked away. Zimmerman almost punched his own defender, Wolf, in the head to get to that. Pisano. Tobin. Middle of the floor. Toby. Winds fires. Good save by Zimmerman to get both hands on that ball. And uh, Swanson clears it out to midfield. And the Invaders go back on the attack now as Scarelli takes it back at the red line. Lash to Tobin, ahead to Oscar. And we have a minute three left in the penalty. Now Pisano trying to move around a man down in the corner right side to Kia. Kia sweeps it outside to Pisano. Pisano, a couple of steps in. He fires wide. Rebound out to Scarelli on the left side. And Lesh will back it up to Tobin. 42 seconds in the penalty. Kia, centering ball over the head of Pikasinski. He was on the position on the post. Scarelli to Kia. He fires wide. Rebound to Tobin. 30 seconds in the penalty. Pisano working on Wolf. Rudy posted up to Scarelli, left side. Lesh, move around one. And outside Pisano. He lets it go. Hit the post. I think Zimmerman got a piece of that. Scarelli in the corner. Rudy, they want the give and go, and Falk can't get it. Now Scarelli outside, and the pass is behind Pisano. Seven seconds in the penalty. Oscar brings it back in. Three seconds. In the corner to Kia. Tried to center. Ball was blocked. Pisano got it back. The penalty's over. And now a minute 57 left in the period. Chicago back at full strength. Here's Kia. Kia unmarked. He shoots wide. Rebound out behind Pikasinski. Now Kondrich with a move inside the man in the corner. 
Kondrich around Dosen and backs it out front and knocked away. It was deflected by uh, Wendell and taken by Dosen. And now Wolf has trouble with it at the red line. Got it back for Chicago. Kondrich and Dosen in a foot race into the Canton end. Tomo will win it into the corner and tap it in the goal box for Swanner. Minute 26 in the first quarter. Outlet right side midfield for Steve Maurer. Back to Pisano. Ahead to Maurer. Maurer right side at the red line to Kramer. <laughs> Kramer back to Pisano. Back in the goal area for Swanner. Minute nine left in the first quarter. No score. Pisano for Kramer. Back to Pisano. Oscar trying to work around Karabatsis. Ahead to Kramer. It's too far for him. Taken away by Matus. And here comes Dozen up the floor for Chicago. Dozen lost control. And here comes Kramer. And Kramer knocked it right to Karabatsis. Chicago on the attack. Karabatsis shot wide. Rebound comes out into the corner. Left side is Kondrich. And now Pisano, 40 seconds in the quarter. Kramer midfield to Maurer. Maurer had trouble with that, and Karabatsis taps it ahead to Comrie. Here comes Chicago. 30 seconds in the quarter. Comrie around Kondrich in the corner, picked up by Oscar. Wall pass comes out behind Karabatsis, and Maurer coming the other way for the invaders. 22 seconds to go. And Maurer had trouble, lost the ball for a second, got it back. Ahead to Kramer, back to Maurer. 14 seconds in the quarter. Now Kondrich, 12 seconds, and Pisano right side at midfield. Eight seconds in the period. Ahead for Moyers, and it's too far for him. Zimmerman controls. Long outlet knocked away by Oscar. Two seconds, one. That's the end of the first quarter. With no scoring, that's the end of the period. The Invaders nothing, Chicago nothing. And we're sorry to tell Cheryl Smith. Uh, Invaders, the home team, will control the kickoff to start this second quarter. Pekazinski, Kia, and Tobin, the forward three. And it's uh, Tima and Paxos in the back. Stevan, Dosen, and Karabatsis up front for Chicago. Rincon and Matus, the defenders for the Shockers. We're underway in period two. Right side midfield is Mike Paxos. Back at the red line to Tobin. And now it's Swanner and ahead to Toby. Toby at the Canton red line. Right side to Paxos. Paxos trying to get inside Dosen and has to spin and back it up at midfield to Tobin. Now left side at the Chicago red line, Tima. Timmy, a couple of steps in, looking inside. Right side to Paxos. He winds, he fires. Zimmerman with a save. Paxi with a follow, headed it out of play. Goal kick for Chicago with 14.32 to play in the first half. No score so far. First quarter was scoreless. I believe that's the first time we played a scoreless first period this season. And the Invaders will try to do something about it here in the second. Long lead midfield. Tima heads it up in the air. Rincon dumps it back in. Only other game in the league tonight. Memphis is at Toledo. Chicago on the attack. Ball deflected by Tima, but it comes into the Invader end anyway. Paxos knocked it away. Dosen got it back. Paxos deflects again. Tobin a double team. They get it to Karabatsis. Wall pass no, and Tima deflects it into the waiting hands of Swanner. Jamie shovels the outlet on the left side to Kia. He leaves it at the red line for Don Tobin. Tobin stops outside the center circle and looks to the right side for Mike Paxos. Paxi, midfield stripe. And back it comes to Tobin. Toby forward for Kia and back to Paxos. Paxos working against Comrie, who's giving him an awful lot of room. And Tima, who's not getting an awful lot of room from Stevan, is able to move the ball through at midfield. Timmy, midfield circle, the backside. Now a couple of steps forward. Comrie over to pick him up. There's a seam for Paxos. Round the boards in the corner, but Zimmerman scoops it up. Outlet to Comrie, left side. And Chicago will bring it out. Comrie to Ruben Stevan. And back to Matus. Matus ahead for Folk, Keith Folk. Trying to get around Tobin. Shovels it back in the right side at midfield to Stevan. Posted up out front in the, the arc is uh, Comrie. Matus almost, or rather, uh, Rincon almost tripped over the ball. Wolf clears ahead. Here comes uh, Stevan. Kia picks him up on D. And Kia deflects it from behind. Paxos takes it away for Canton. Ahead to Don Tobin. Tobin for Pikasinski. Rudy for Kia as they cross. Kia right side to Rudy. Just missed him with a pass. 
Rudy got behind his man, and they came close to really clicking on a pretty one there. But no cigar. Coming up the floor for Chicago is Swanson. Sliding play by Key. A loose out front. Ball comes away to Pisano. Here come the invaders. End-to-end -end action now. This is what Chicago wants to avoid, I believe. Here's Kramer left side. He fires. Blocked by Swindells. And it comes out to Maurer. Maurer to Pisano. Pisano dumps it over off the right sideboards. Knocked away there. Swanson will try to clear. Taken down from behind by Rudy. And the trip call against Pikasinski is the first foul of the period. I don't think Chicago wants to get into this running game without Valencia, Lash off, and uh, Glenn on the floor. And I'm sure Mike Gribich did not like what he saw right there. Because two times up the floor, they could have had good opportunities. Long lead, Comrie off his chest up in the air. He and uh, Condridge fight for it. Comrie gets it to his feet, now Folk on the left point. And the pass uh, for Swindells is missed. And Pizzotto controls for the invaders. And again, Chicago backing up on D. 11.50 to play in the first half, no score. Steve Moyers to Pisano, ahead to Art Kramer. Kramer, ball knocked away, but Condrich got it back on the point. Condrich around Comrie, around a second man, and back out at midfield it comes to Pisano. Pisano into the red line, left side around one, and he jumps over the second guy into the corner, and he centers outside. Kramer winds, fires just wide to the right side, and it's headed up over the glass and out of play off a Chicago player. Invaders will put it in play in the Chicago defensive zone on the right side. Real good crowd again at the Civic Center. I think we probably got 4,000 again. Tomorrow night in the AISA, Memphis is at Fort Wayne. Sunday, Toledo hosts Fort Wayne. Tampa Bay is at Milwaukee. Next week, the Invaders are in Tampa Bay Wednesday night and at home Friday night against the Fort Wayne Flames. 11.25 to play in the second quarter. No score. Tobin to put it in play from the right side for Camp. Toby through the box for Kia. Kia trying to get around Rincon. Rincon got a foot on it. And it bounces loose at midfield. Karabats has had it for a second, but Kia able to deflect to Tobin out in the corner. And the goalkeeper Zimmerman came out of the net to clear it to midfield. Tima waits for it there for Canton, but he's got a problem with Stevon. Timmy able to ride Stevon away, however, and control it back in the invader defensive zone. We played four minutes into the second quarter and still no goals have been scored. Team in middle of the floor, Canton red line. Now at the Chicago red line to Rudy. Rudy leaves it for Kia. Kia trying to put a move on Steve on. He'll pass Tobin. Tobin around one. Sliding play, knocked away. In the corner, Rudy to Toby. Tried to center, knocked out of play. It'll be Canton's ball in as Rincon touched it last. And the Invaders will kick it in from the left corner. 10.45 on the scoreboard clock in the first half. Our next broadcast will be the home game from Fort Wayne, or rather the home game against Fort Wayne, next Friday night. Paxo shot, deflected out front, cleared to Karabatsis. Here come the Shockers on the attack. Karabatsis ahead to Dosen. Dosen with Timo on D. And he takes it into the right corner. Now backs up front with it. Tobin comes over to help out. Matus on the right side at midfield for Chicago. Now in the circle to Rincon. Rincon dumps it down in the corner. Tima got inside his man. Taken down on the trip. And that'll be the uh, first foul on Chicago in the period. 10-19 to play. Tobin comes out of the invader zone with it. Right side to Tima at the red line. Timmy long lead. It hits Rincon in the face. And Pikasinski will get the push call from behind. Rincon hobbles off the field. He had that right knee heavily bandaged anyway. Second foul on Canton. Rincon's out. Swanson checks in. 10.09 to play in the half. Stevon sends it into the Chicago and intercepted by Tima. And Tima lost it. Tried to get it to Tobin. Didn't get enough on the pass. Stevon coming the other way. He feeds in the corner. Shot. No. Centering ball. Stevon couldn't get a foot on it. Karabatsis has the rebound for Chicago. Move around Tobin. Shot saves Swanner up against the left post. 9.49 left. Jamie with a long lead for Rudy. And Matus picked it off the boards and cleared ahead to Karabatsis for Chicago. Karabatsis, Canton red line, drops it back to Neil Swindells. 
Karabatz has had some trouble with it. Got it back off the boards. Double teamed. Trying to get inside Paxos. No. Timmy sliding play. Shot score by Swindells. They left Swanner hanging wide open up front. And Chicago leads 1-0. Time of the goal will be 5-29. Neil Swindells picks up his eighth goal of the season for Chicago. And we'll wait a minute on the assist. The Shockers lead 1-0. And the crowd getting a little restless here. They want some offensive action from the Invaders. 9.31 to play in the half. Dawson picks up the assist, and that is his first of the year. In the Chicago end, they attack. It's headed up over the glass and out of play. Invaders will kick it in from the right corner. Canton trying to answer back. Art Kramer will be the trigger man from the right side. Swindells from Dawson at 529 of the second period. First goal of the night belongs to Chicago. Kramer outside Pisano. Move on Comrie. Comrie picked him clean. Here comes Chicago the other way. Comrie with uh, Condrich with him. Dumps it back. Bad pass taken away by Kramer. Ahead to Paxos. Or rather to Maurer. And Moyers with it. Back to Maurer. Midfield. 9.02 to play. Pisano right side at the Chicago red line to Condrich. Condrich trying to move inside Falk. He got inside, lost the ball, but Falk committed the foul, and it's the second one on the Shockers. Kick in for the Invaders. Kramer from the right side. Out front to Pisano. Oscar winds, fires into the stage. Goal kick Chicago. With 8.51 to play in the second period, the Shockers lead 1-0. Walking wounded, but they've got the only goal of the night so far. So far, that... I guess the best way you can describe it would be a bit of a boring Chicago defense, but it's been effective. You can do that kind of stuff on the road when you don't care whether you please the fans or not. Zimmerman taps it out, Matus back to Zimmerman in the goal box. And he'll pick it up, right side at midfield, the outlet ahead for Dozen. Dosen trying to spin inside of Paxos. And Tobin over to double team on the boards. Ball knocked free. Karabatsis. Swanner slapped it away. Team of controls back in the box for Jamie. Long outlet three line violation. Kia was working on Matus down at the other end, but Jamie threw it too far. Eight and a half minutes to play in the first half, and we take it back to the Invader red line. Steve on to Rincon. He winds fires wide to the left. And Kia dumps it into Paxos. Paxos, double team, trying to get around a couple of guys, able to clear to Kia. Dosen lost his balance over the ball, and Kia taps it in the goal box for Jamie Swanner. Outlet to Tim Timo on the run, outside the red line on the left side to midfield, right side at the Canton red line to Tobin. Tobin moving in, around one, he fires wide to the left. Timo out after the rebound in the left side, in the corner for Kia. Kia centers for Rudy, it's behind him. Comrie comes the other way. Comrie across midfield, ball knocked away by Paxos. Comrie rides him down, and a holding call goes against uh, Elvis Comrie, and that's the third foul on Chicago. I don't know if it was a hold. They probably could have called charging. Don Tobin ahead for Kia. Kia trying to work on Matus. Back up to uh, Paxos. Outside the midfield circle is Condrich. Right side midfield to Paxi. But Comrie gives him a lot of room over there. Here is uh, Condrich. Ahead for Rudy. Rudy trying to get inside a man in the corner. Kia tried to feed Rudy in the corner. And Matus back on D. They get it out on the point to Tomo. Condrich trying to work on Karabatsis. Down in the corner. Nobody there but Matus for Chicago in the goal box. Zimmerman and they'll clear it out. Zimmerman still has the ball. Puts it on the floor for Rincon. Ahead for Matus. Matus with Tobin on the run. They dump it in the Canton zone. Nobody there. Paxos coming the other way. Seven minutes in the first half. Paxos had it knocked away by Swindells. And Comrie and Paxos collide. This time the foul goes against Mike Paxos. 
and three fouls against each team now in the second period. 6.58 to play, Chicago won, the Invaders nothing. Here with WHBC FM 94, Canton, Ohio. Long lead, Comrie couldn't control, it goes into Swanner's hands. Outlet left side at the red line to Tobin. Tobin to Pisano to Kia. Kia trying to get it in the corner, deflected. Pisano has it there now for the Invaders. Oscar moving out front, he's got a shot. Good save by Zimmerman. Oscar had some mustard on that. Oscar has it back outside, trying to center for Pikasinski. Loose out front, sliding play to knock it loose into the corner. And the Shockers clear it out. Kia took it away, but Rincon got it back for Chicago. Knocked away by Kondrich. Falk chases it down in the Chicago end in the goal box for Zimmerman. Zimmerman outlet. It's over the head of Rincon, but taken there by Dosen. Dosen on Pisano. Wall pass. Swanner goes out and scoops it up. Outlet on the left side to Kondrich, and he's no sooner across the red line, and there are five Chicago players already back on D. 6.02 to play in the second quarter. Right side midfield is Kramer. Kramer for Steve Moyers. Moyers against Swanson. Back outside on the point to Kramer. Already a couple of steps in. He winds, he fires. Zimmerman didn't see that until the last second. Still made the save. Centering ball pops away from Maurer. Outside Kramer. Kramer shoots and another save by Zimmerman on the one hop. He grabs this one and holds on. Outlet to David Wolf. 536 in the first half. Swindell's midfield trying to get around Kramer. Does. And Pisano steals it away. Pisano ahead to Maurer. Maurer trying to work around. Wolf does, but lost the ball. Taken away from behind by Swindells. He scored the only goal of the night. Chicago leads 1-0. Maurer with a steal. Here come the invaders. Maurer's got Kramer in the corner, and Moyer go Moyer's going to his right. Maurer has it deflected, backs it up, shoots it wide into the corner, and Dosen will come out with it for Chicago. And he walked right over the ball, taken away by Tima. Ahead to Moyers. Moyers around one. He fires just wide to the right side. Cleared out, midfield, it's Dozen, and back to Falk. Keith Falk pushes it over to Swanson, former Milwaukee Wave player, and back in the goal arc it is to Zimmerman. 4.48 to play in the first quarter. David Wolf back in the goal box again to Zimmerman, and they'll change lines. Zimmerman, long lead, knocked away by Paxos, but Rincon dumps it airborne in the Chicago end. Comrie and Tima in a race in the corner, and it's knocked over the glass and out of play. Hit last by Tima. And with 4.31 to play, we'll have an official's timeout. Chicago 1, Canton nothing. We'll be back in a minute. Guns. They played a conservative defense, backing up in their own end, trying not to give up the easy goal or the counterattack goal. And so far, they haven't given up any goals. 4.31 to play in the half. Invaders looking to tie, but right now the ball's in the wrong end of the floor. Chicago putting it in play in the Canton defensive end from the right side. Ruben Stevan handling that chore for the Shockers. Vastly improved team, maybe the most improved team that was in the league last year, I think. And here is Stevan. Taps it outside, shot by Rincon, rejected by Pikasinski, and Kia clears. Matus heads it back in. Karabatsis working on Tima. They chase it into the corner. And Karabatz is trying to come outside with it. And he's tripped by Tima, and that'll be the fourth foul on the Invaders. Shockers will put it in play from the touchline left side, right outside the curve of the boards. Again, it'll be Ruben, St <laughs> Ruben Steva on the trigger man. Airborne, Dosen tried to center, shot, saved Swanner. And from point blank range, he got the second one after Steva tried to deflect. And here comes Kia out of the zone for Canton, ahead for Don Tobin. Tobin, midfield on the right side. And his pass is intercepted by Rincon, and here come the Shockers the other way. Three on three, shot Swanner with a save. And the outlet, too far for Kia. Matus will chase it down and roll it in the goal box for Zimmerman, outlet Steven on the right side. 3.50 to play in the first half. Chicago one, Canton nothing. Steven, and the ball intercepted by Tima, ahead to Kramer. Tima stepped in front of Dosen. And Timmy's got it at the red line. Kia posted up out front. Back to Tima. And he taps it back to Don Tobin. Tobin, the invader playmaker. Looking inside. Now on the left point to Tima. Tima trying to move on Dosen. Dosen pins it up against the boards. Got position inside. And clears it out. Here come the Shockers. Stevan through the midfield circle. 
And Tobin stepped in front and knocked it away. And here comes Kia back for Canton. And Kia had it knocked away by uh, Dosen in the Shockers control. Rincon back in the goal to Zimmerman. 3.07 to play in the first half. Long lead, Falk at midfield. And Falk now on the left side. Pushes it ahead for Comrie. Two invaders are back. Comrie trying to get it away from Kondrich. Does for a second, and now Comrie out on the point. Kondrich trying to deflect, but they clear to Matus. Matus almost lost the ball. Comes in on Maurer. Down into the right corner. 2.40 to play in the half. And back outside. It goes to uh, Swindells. Swindells to Swanson. Swanson for Falk. Falk trying to get inside Paxos. Paxos stepped inside, got the ball to Swanner. Out on the right side to Don Tobin. 2.24 to play in the, in the first half. Chicago won, Canton nothing. Pisano at the red line. Kramer just stepped off the bench in the line change for Canton. Hardy's got the ball, middle of the floor, around his man. He shoots, and Zimmerman just did get a piece of that to deflect it out of play. Goal kick invaders already had a little bit of authority on that one. And again, I think Zimmerman might have been partially screened. He looked like he didn't see that until the last minute. Chicago wants to talk things over with 2-11 in the half. We'll keep it here. Invaders trail one to nothing. So we'll come back and uh, it'll be a corner kick from the right side. Art Kramer doing the honors for the Invaders. 2-11 to play in the half. Kramer tries to center outside. It's deflected and Condrich had it knocked away by Comrie. Pisano controls for the Invaders. Back in the Canton end, it comes to Swanner. And we have two minutes to play in the first half. Oscar right sided midfield, trying to get in the corner for Kramer, knocked away by Swindells. And Swindells had it knocked back by Kramer. Swanson in the corner tries to clear, got around one, got around two. And Chicago on the attack. Swanson to the left side to an unmarked Keith Falk. Falk. And he oh, got a terrible shot off, didn't have anything on it. Swanner controlled that one easily. He was trying to pass it to Comrie. He missed him by a country mile, too. Minute and a half to play in the first half. Left side at midfield is Kramer for Canton. Artie trying to move around Swindell. Swindell's picked it away on the boards. Artie tried to deflect it back. Swindell's pass between the legs of Maurer. Ahead to Karabatsis. Karabatsis stops in the point. Now moves in on Pisano. Shot score! Chicago leads two to nothing. Karabatsis with a goal. And that's his third of the season. Two of them have come against the Invaders. This one comes at 13.47 of the second period. Chris Karabatsis the goal. And Chicago leads two to nothing. And Swindells will probably get the assist on that. As Swindells does get the assist. So he's got a goal and an assist for Chicago, and the Shockers lead two to nothing. Long lead, and Zimmerman's put that one up in the rafters. <laughs> Invaders will put it in play in the Chicago end. Out at the red line. One minute, eight seconds to play in the first half. Chicago by two. The Invaders trying to cut that lead here now. Tobin. Dumps it in, the pass for Rudy knocked away. And the Shockers control. Stevon dumps it ahead for Dosen. Dosen right side. Wines fires no. And here come the Invaders back out. Tobin with 55 seconds left in the half. Toby across the red line. Midfield for Pikazinski. Rudy drops it back to Tobin. 45 seconds in the half. Long lead for Pikazinski knocked away. Paxos trying to keep it in. And Paxi will have to back it up to Tobin with 37 seconds. Tobin ahead for Tima, back to Don Tobin. 30 seconds and a half. They want Kia in the right corner, he put it in the stage. Goal kick Chicago with 28 seconds left in the first half. And the Shockers lead two to nothing. Chicago calls timeout again. Be able to chew up some clock. Not one of the invaders better efforts offensively. The other thing when a team's playing the slow up like that and getting back on D, sometimes it can lull you to sleep. Zimmerman to put it in play for Chicago. 
Dumps it over to Wolf. Back to Zimmerman. He picks it up. 24 seconds. Long outlet midfield Comrie. Comrie trying to get around uh, Condridge. Spin move in the left side in the Canton end, and he put it in the cheap seats. Goal kick now in Baders with 15 seconds left in the half. They've got to go the length of the floor. Our guest at halftime will be the new member of the Invaders, Les Scarelli, acquired this week from the Toledo Pride. Les has seen action in the first half on the power play unit. There's only been one power play. The Invaders had it. They did not score. Here comes Pisano. 12 seconds and a half. Oscar long lead. Zimmerman out of the net, heads it away from Kramer. Pisano got it back, eight seconds. Pisano, ball knocked away. And Condridge has it in midfield with only four seconds. Up in the air, Zimmerman heads it out of play. That's the end of the half anyway. With a score, the Chicago Shockers two. And the Canton Invaders nothing. For Chicago, it's Karabatsis, Dosen, Stevan, Rincon, and Matus. Chicago to move, <coughs> excuse me, to move from our left to our right. Rincon back at the red line. Stevan back to Rincon. It's a little behind him. He's got to chase it back and block out of play by Pikasinski. Chicago will put it back in play. Ruben Stevan, touchline right side, backs it up in the goal box for Zimmerman. And he will pick it up. Long lead, midfield for Stevan, tied up by Tobin on the boards, and Pikasinski trying to dig it out and does. Knocks it to midfield with the Shockers control. Rincon sent it in on goal. Swanner caught it on the fly. On the left side midfield for Tobin. Tobin trying to get inside a man. Shot saved by Zimmerman. Outlet pushed straight ahead. Dozen. Dozen with Paxos on defense. Takes it in the canton end. They ride it into the boards on the right side. Paxos cuts inside. Dumps it in the goal box for Swan. Jamie, outlet left side at the red line to Kia. Kia on the move for Canton. We've played 50 seconds. Now Tim Tima. Tima for Rudy Pikasinski. Pikasinski spins into the corner. Wants the feed. Knocked away by Matus. Rudy back up to try to help out. Rudy trying to get help from Kia. Knocked away. Whistle. Trip call on Pikasinski as Comrie went down. And that's the first foul on either team in the third quarter. They dump it in the goal box for Zimmerman. Zimmerman will pick it up. Outlet left side midfield for Karabatsis. Karabatsis knocked it right to Kramer. Kramer and Kia double team. Karabatsis went down, didn't get the call. And Mike Paxos has it at midfield. Invaders on the attack. They trail two to nothing. Condridge dumps it ahead for Canton. Hart Kramer working in the left side. And the ball knocked away. Comrie has it ahead to Karabatsis. Karabatsis midfield for Chicago. Now to the Canton red line. Left side. Pikasinski on defense. Karabatsis inside him. They take it down up against the boards. Rudy knocked it away. Chicago controls it midfield. Matus drops it back. Zimmerman's got to come out of the box after that. Ahead to Rincon. Rincon had it taken away by Paxos. Paxos to Kramer to Pisano. Oscar right side. He winds. He fires. Missed Bauer with a header on the left side. And Falk able to clear to midfield. Comrie to Falk. Back to Comrie. Midfield circle to Martin Rincon. Ahead to Swindells. He winds. He fires. Swanner with a save. Rebound punched outside. Falk dumps it out to midfield to David Wolf. Chicago still on the attack. They dump it in, headed out by Pisano to Maurer. Maurer to Kramer. Kramer trying to get away from Comrie. Does. Sweeps it over midfield circle to Pisano. Oscar in the Chicago end. Left side to Maurer. Left foot shot. No. Rebound comes out behind Kramer. Comrie has it at the red line for Chicago. Knocked away by uh, Condrich, but taken back for the Shockers by Rincon. He dumps it out to midfield, and Kramer's got it there for the Invaders. Kramer ahead, Steve Maurer, right side. Now Condridge, 12-12 to play in the third quarter. 2-0 Chicago, Pisano in the midfield circle for Canton. Maurer posted up out front, back in the left point to Steve Moyers, and now Pisano in the midfield circle. 12 minutes in the third quarter. Condridge, right side, wide spires. No, rebound, knocked away from Tomo by Swindells. 
and Pisano chases it down, now lets it go in the Canton end for Swanner. Swanner ahead for Condridge. Tomo in the Chicago zone. In the corner for Maurer, centering ball. Moyer scores! <laughs> Moyer's from Maurer, and the Invaders are on the board. <laughs> Goal number seven on the year for Steve Moyers. Assist number 10 on the season for Steve Maurer. Time of the goal, 3.17. Timeout, Chicago. In the third period, Chicago 2, Canton 1. So the Invaders get that all-important first goal in the second half. They cut the lead by one. And it's a 2-1 game. 43 to play in the third quarter. And that brought the crowd to its feet. Now let's see if we can get some racket in this place. Tobin Kia Pikasinski, Tima Paxos for Canton. Karabatsis, Dosen, Stevan, Rincon, and Matus for Chicago. Knocked away at midfield. Rudy over to Kia. Kia on the right side. Back in the goal area for Swanner. Now Paxos. Now Kia midfield against the right side boards. Back at the red line to Paxos, left side midfield to Tima. Ahead to Tobin, to Tima, to Paxos. Paxos clears up the right side, ahead for Kia. Kia tried to center, it was behind Tobin, knocked in the corner, and loose around front, taken out of the point by Tima. Tima now right side to Kia, headed back to midfield to Paxos. Paxi in the midfield circle. Right point to Kia. Kia, a couple of steps in, now back outside to Paxos. Left side to Tima. 10.55 to play in the third quarter. Paxos ahead to Kia. Kia got inside a man. Stevon able to knock the ball away. And Ruben Stevon coming the other way. Knocked from away from behind by Pikasinski, taken by Tina. And now Don Tobin, right side at midfield. Invaders a little more aggressive on defense. Toby shot into the corner. Matus tries to clear. Kia with a deflection from behind. Toby got it back on the point. Tima out front. He shoots. Blocked by Karabatsis. Tima got it back over on the right side to Tobin. The offensive pressure being applied by the Invaders now. Back it up midfield to Mike Paxos. They want to keep it in this end of the floor for a while. 10-18 to play in the period. Tobin down on the side. Kia after the wall pass. Knocked out of play by Rincon. And he's going to get two minutes for delay of game. And the Invaders will go on the power play as Rincon just dumped the ball out of play. And here we go. Power play time for the Invaders. The penalty comes at 4.47 of the third period. Rincon, two minutes for a delay of game. Invaders 0 for 1 on the power play tonight, entering the game. 26 of 60 on the year, 43%. Chicago's penalty killers, not particularly outstanding. 19 goals, 56 attempts, 66%. The Invader power play, Lesh Carelli, Don Tobin, Oscar Pisano, Kia, and Rudy Pikasinski. Penalty killers, Swanson, Falk, Matus, and Wolf. Pikasinski dribbling around up front, dumps it in the corner for Kia on the right side. Taps it outside. Pisano around one. Leaves it for Kia. Nope, neither one of them took the ball and it was cleared away by Wolf. Minute 40 left in the penalty. Here comes uh, Don Tobin. Right side to Pisano. And back up at midfield to Tobin. Now left side, Scarelli. Back to Tobin. Toby, couple of steps forward. Right side. It is Pisano in the corner right side to Kia. Back in the point to Oscar. Out front to uh, Rudy, and it was knocked away. Pisano chases it down at midfield. Minute 12 in the penalty. Tobin left side. He's got room. He winds. He fires. No. Rebound to the right side. Outside Pisano. He lets it go. Deflected away out front. And Tobin heads it away from Swanson. Pisano trying to work on Wolf. He's forced back to midfield. 54 seconds in the penalty. Pisano, Rudy, posted up, Kia in the corner, centering for Scarelli, he scores! 
Rudy Pikasinski scores off the feed from Les Garelli, and the game is tied. Pikasinski gets the power play goal, and Scarelli gets his first assist as an invader. It's his 10th assist overall in the season. Time of the goal, 6-0-1, and the game is tied 2-2. Pikasinski picks up his 26th goal of the season and the Invaders tie at 2-2. 2-2 is our score. No, that's not right. They said Scarelli scored and Rudy tapped that ball in. Okay, the official called 18. The official blew it. That should be Rudy's goal. We may correct that later. The official gave the goal to Scarelli and the assist to Kia. Rudy Pikasinski put that ball in. Tima trying to get it away from Dosen. Dosen taking it down to the Canton end on the left side. Dosen back outside for Rincon, or rather for Stevan. Knocked away by Kia, ahead to Tobin. Toby sliding play, but knocked away by Kia. Shot by Matus, blocked by Paxos. Rudy dumps it in the boards, and it's uh, cleared in the box for Jamie. Swanner, long lead for Pikasinski on the break. Left side, he shoots wide, no, followed by Kia. Oh, no, Rudy, score, no! They hit the post four times. Oh, my heavens. And Tima slapped into the boards in two minutes coming up on Dosen for boarding. And Stevon better watch it or he's going to get two. And the Invaders will go back on the power play again as Dosen will get called for boarding as he put through his shoulder into Tim Tima and bumped him up against the boards. Time of this penalty, 7-10. Invaders one for two on the power play tonight. Let's see if we can get a ruling on that goal, because that should be Pikasinski's goal. Timeout called. We'll take a quick break. Game is tied 2-2. It sure looked from here like that ball was still outside when he put it in. All right. In any event, it's tied 2-2. That's the important thing. Get the Invaders to go on the power play again. A cheer for the Invaders. They can take the lead here. Don Tobin, right side to Pisano in the corner. Kia Rudy's open. The pass was deflected. And it's cleared out to midfield and goes into the Invader bench. And they will give it to Chicago. Wolf to put it in play for the Shockers. We've got a uh, minute 48 left in the penalty. They just dump it down the Canton end and will not put much pressure on. Swanner ahead to Pisano. Ahead to uh, Tobin. Invaders on the power play. Tobin, right side Pisano, back to Toby. He winds, he fires, deflected, no. Scarelli after the rebound, couldn't control. Coming the other way is Swanson. Swanson knocked away by Pikasinski. Foul on Rudy. And that's the second foul on the Invaders in the period. Minute 35 left in the penalty. Matus tried to dump it in the can men and put it in the crowd. We'll go back the other way. That took all of one second off the clock. Game is tied 2-2. Tobin dumps it ahead. Pisano midfield. Right of the circle. Back to Tobin. And Pisano. Now Tobin again, and again to Pisano. Down in the corner to Kia. Kia inside to Rudy, no, and the ball cleared away by Swindells. Back it comes to Tobin, right side Pisano. Minute left of the penalty. Kia to Scarelli, and he just deflected it wide left. Tobin around the boards for Scarelli, who got around him, and Zimmerman controls. Zimmerman puts it on the floor, clears ahead, but the pass for Wolf is knocked away by Tobin. 
45 in the penalty. Tobin wants Kia in the corner, and he knocked it out of play. And Chicago will put it in play with uh, six and a half minutes left in the period and, 30, and 40 seconds left in the penalty. We're tied 2-2. Chicago scored two goals in the second. The Invaders have scored two here in the third. Moyers and Scarelli for Canton. Pisano heads it ahead. Wolf sends it back in the Canton zone. Swanner waits for it there, ahead to Pisano. 25 seconds in the penalty. Pisano to Rudy, to Kia right side, back to Oscar. Oscar tripped by Stevon. And that's the first foul of the period on Chicago. 17 seconds left in the Invader power play. Pisano to Tobin, back to Oscar. Oscar trying to work around Wolf to Kia in the corner. To Pikazinski, Rudy trying to get around Matus, back to Pisano, eight seconds. Pisano, ball taken away by Stevon. Stevon up to the right, left side of the floor. Rudy back on D, taps it away. The penalty's over. Dosen back out on the floor. And here comes Tobin ahead for Pisano. So the Shockers kill the penalty off. 5.37 left in the period. The Invaders still looking for the uh, lead goal here. Art Kramer, midfield. Back it up to Pisano. Ahead for Moyers. Ball taken away by Matus. And he just pushes off on Kramer. And they give Artie the obstruction. Matus threw an elbow into Kramer, and they call a foul on Artie. Third foul on the Invaders. Stevon in the Chicago end. Ahead Matus, ball taken away by Maurer. Here come the Invaders. Maurer, middle of the floor. He fires in the save by Zimmerman. Going down to his knees to rake that one in. Long lead, picked away by Pisano. Oscar will get the push. And that's the fourth foul on Camp. 5.04 in the period. Invaders have only one foul to give. Chicago has not had a power play yet tonight. There's a shot. Score! From the red line, Ruben Stevon. Swanner got a piece of it, but it still went in. Chicago leads 3-2. Ruben Stevon gets his 13th goal of the year. It comes at 9.58 of the third period. Unassisted goal for Stevon, and Chicago back in the lead, 3-2. Kind of a freakish goal. He just hauled off and fired it. I really think he intended that to be a wall pass, but it ended up in the corner of the net. Did have a lot on it. So the Invaders trail again by a goal. 4.54, clock moving in the third quarter. Kramer in the Chicago end, right side. Shot high off the wall. Connors trying to get inside a man. Now tries to back it outside and clears it all the way back in the Canton zone for Swanner. Jamie shovels it ahead for Pisano. 3-2 Chicago. Kramer in the corner. Ball knocked away. And here come the Shockers in the attack. Two on two. Falk dumps it over to Comrie. Comrie right side at midfield. A couple of steps in on Pisano. Now Kramer back as well. And Moyers out to help out. They clear to Swanson at midfield and back up in their own end to Zimmerman. Now Swanson ahead. This is George Wendell in, shot just wide to the left. Kramer clears for Kia. Kia on the run up the right side, moving to his left now. Red line, move around one, feeds right side to Kramer. Kramer lets it go, and Zimmerman scoops it up and holds on. Zimmerman shovels a long outlet ahead Wendell's. Wendell, Condridge stepped in front and knocked it away. Comrie took it away for a second, but Swanner got it back. Quick outlet to Tobin at the red line. 3.43 to play in the period. Tobin ahead for Kia. Zimmerman out of the net. Sends that one up in the air. And it stays in play in midfield. Tobin drops it back to Condridge. Tomo. Midfield circle with Comrie on defense. Mike Paxos in on D. Chicago leads 3-2. Condridge ahead for Moyers. Moyers around one, around two. Feeds in the left side to Tobin. Tobin back out on the point. Now midfield to Paxos. Right side to Condridge. 3-10 in the period. Condridge back to Paxos. 
Paxos, airborne for Kia in the corner. Wendell's plows into Kia, and he's going to get two minutes for boarding. So the invaders will go back on the power play again. Kia is still down. Wendell's took a pretty good shot at him. And another two-minute penalty on Chicago. This will be the fourth power play for Canton. They've scored on one of the first three. Time of the penalty, 11.58. So the Invaders will have two more minutes of man advantage to try to tie this game. Kia shakes a few cobwebs up. He's up and all right. Tobin will put it in play from the right corner. Or now Kia will. Out to Tobin. To Pisano, middle of the floor. Back to Toby. Back it up to midfield. He crosses with Oscar. And the Invaders looking to tie on the power play. Tobin. Right side, Pisano. Pisano back to Tobin. Tobin. Back to Pisano again. Down in the right corner for Kia. Kia centers. The ball's behind Rudy. Kia got it back. Over to an open Scarelli. He scores! tie at 3-3. Second goal for Les Scarelli. And a second assist of the night for Kia. 3-3 tie. Time of the goal. 12-24 the period. Scarelli now with uh, nine goals on the year, counting his st stats in Toledo. Kia now has 18 assists. And the Invaders have tied it up again, 3-3. 2.36 to play in the third quarter. Chicago committing some stupid penalties, and the Invaders making them pay for it. There was no reason for Wendell to go into Kia like that. And we've got a problem with a door on the Chicago bench. It's the same door we had trouble with earlier in the year, and it took us half the night to fix it. Let's hope this one gets fixed a little sooner. I think the referee has managed to do some of his repair work, and I think we'll get the game going again right away. At least until somebody runs into that board again. 4,249 here at the Civic Center. Good crowd again. The game is tied 3-3. 2.36 to play in the third quarter. Canton goals, two by Scarelli, one by Moyers. Swindells, Karabatsis, and Stevon have scored for Chicago. Invaders knock the kickoff away. Tobin heads it ahead for Rudy. Rudy trying to get inside Matus. And Matus controls for a minute, still being hounded by Rudy. Tried to stock it away in the box. Kia got it knocked away by Rincon. Paxo stepped inside. Centering ball knocked free. Kia chasing it up against the boards. And double team, but it's cleared out the midfield. And Tima will flag it down. In the Invader in at the other side. 2.05 to go in the third quarter. Now Don Tobin. Tobin, pass blocked and knocked out of play by Dosen. Invaders will kick it in. Touchline left side at midfield with a minute 57 to play in the third quarter. Both teams will change lines. Momentum right now seeming to shift to the Invaders. They put much better offensive pressure on Chicago in this quarter than they did in the first half. Tomo Condridge to put it in play for Canton. Invader red line, middle of the floor to Pisano. And Oscar right side of the midfield circle, ahead for Condridge, left side. Tomo trying to get inside Comrie, ahead for Maurer, and it's too far. Zimmerman clears out and Polk up the right side of the floor for Chicago. Ahead for Comrie. They want Polk on the give and go. Pisano stepped in front of that and steered it into Swanner. Minute 35 to play in the third quarter. Kramer, left side at midfield, back to Oscar. Pisano, left of the circle, and his pass is intercepted by Polk. And Moyers able to deflect from behind. And here comes Pisano. Round one, round two, taken down. Trip call against Swindells. Second foul on Chicago in the period. Invaders will put it in play from right outside the arc. Minute 18 left to play in the third period. Kramer, left side, Kondrich. 
off the boards, and Moyers trying to get inside. Comrie does. Condrich, wall pass. Maurer, Moyers scores! Steve Moyers the goal. And I think Steve Maurer will get the assist. And the Invaders lead for the first time, 4-3. to three. Moyers, second goal of the night. He's got eight on the year. Time of the goal, 13.50. And the Invaders lead four to three. They may give it to Tomo. Let's see who gets the assist. Tom Condridge gets the assist. Tomo is sixth assist of the year. And the Invaders lead four three. Holding call against Canton. Now, that was the fifth foul. they got to watch they don't draw a six here. Minute four in the period. Chicago will put it in play left corner. Steve on to Matus. Back outside to Rincon. Rincon ahead, and Tima able to get a hold of that and clear it out to Kia. 55 seconds in the quarter. Kia to Tobin. Back to Kia, and now back to Mike Paxos. Paxos leaves it for Tobin at midfield. Now Tima, now Tobin. 44 seconds. They may just want to run the clock out here and make sure they don't get the sixth foul. Invaders have found the back of the net four times in this period. Now they push it ahead to Tima. Tima working on Stevon. Now Rudy got around his man. He shoots. Blocked out front. Matus came over to help out. And it's a three-line violation on Chicago as the block goes back in the Invaders' zone on the fly. 27 seconds in the period. Canton to put it in play from the red line. 4-3. Four three invaders with the lead. Two goals by Moyers. Two goals by Scarelli. Tobin, right side Paxos, back to Don Tobin. Left side to Tim Tima. 18 seconds. Tima midfield, right side it comes to Tobin. 12 seconds. Toby ahead, it's uh, knocked away and cleared out to Stevon. Chicago on the run. Six seconds. Five. Stevon Canton red line. Right side, uh, Dosen, centering ball. It's covered up by Swanner. That's the end of the period with a score. The Canton Invaders, four. The Chicago Shockers, three. Wendells, Karabatsis, and Stevan have lit the red light for Chicago. Invaders, after a lackluster first half, uh, starting to get things cooking here in the second. Good crowd, 4,249 here at the Civic Center. And they have uh, come to life here in the third period. Next Friday night, click night here against Fort Wayne. Former invader Ken Killingsworth returns again. Two for one coupons for $6 seats available at uh, your neighborhood click store. And those divine clickers will also be handed out uh, before the start so your kids can drive you berserk for a day or two. 4 3 is our score. And. Uh, What's going on here in the Chicago bench? One referee comes over and says something to someone there. And now over to the invader bench. They're still working on the door over here. Okay, the, the ref didn't see. There was a maintenance man kneeling down behind the boards working on the door, and I don't think the ref saw him in the in the Chicago bench, so we may be a little bit delayed starting this period. 15 minutes left to go here. Invaders lead 4-3. The they taped the board over to the post, and uh, that should last for a quarter. Four three is our score. Invaders with a lead. It's the first time they've led tonight. We were tied at two and tied at three after Chicago had a 2-0 advantage at halftime. Now we're ready to go, now the crowd's ready to go. And it'll be 
Magic Celestin for the first time in six games on the floor for Canton with Pikasinski and Tobin. So Magic is playing forward now. Position we haven't seen him at much this year. Paxos dumps it back. Swanner sends it long. Magic up in the air. Heads it ahead trying to get it to Rudy. Stevon took it away. Tima knocks it away and Timmy will get the first foul of the period for the trip on Karabatsis. We've played 16 seconds of the fourth quarter. Stevon to put it in play for Chicago. Fires wide to the left. Magic out for the rebound. Celeste in midfield. Pushes it ahead for Pekosinski. Stevon deflected the pass. Rudy chases it down in the right corner. Rudy getting held. No call. And he tries to get inside one. He does around two. And the ball knocked away by Stevon. Paxos gets it back for Canton. Paxos to Magic. Celeste in midfield to Tima. Tima sweeps it over on the right side for Paxos. Paxos trying to move forward ahead for Celestin. Celestin left side for Rudy. The ball is intercepted and Matus clears for Chicago. Coming the other way is Karabatsis. Karabatsis, bad pass taken away by Tima. Hits Karabatsis in the hand and that'll be the first foul on Chicago in the period with 14.04 left in the game. Don Tobin with the ball left side midfield for Canton. Ahead to Celestin. Celestin working on Karabatsis and back to Tobin. Tobin, left side boards, Magic, Celestin, double team, around one, now feeds Paxos at midfield. Right side at the red line to Tima and back to Paxos. Ahead for Tobin, the ball picked away, coming the other way, Karabatsis. Dumps it ahead for Dozen. Dozen, and the ball knocked away by Paxos. Tobin clears to Celestin. Celestin, back to Paxos, ahead midfield. Rudy can't get it, but Celestin does. Celestin, coming the other way, here come the invaders, three on three. Celestin with Tobin and Rudy. Toby, left side, winds, fires, good save, rebound. Rudy couldn't quite get it. Zimmerman just got a hand on that to knock it away. And coming the other way for Chicago is Keith Falk. 13-12 left in the game. Elvis Comrie in the Canton end, back to the net left side. Now Falk out on the point. Invaders lead by only one. Wolf, left side to Falk. Middle of the floor, Comrie, knocked away by Condridge. Shot, score! by Swindells, and the game is tied 4-4. Swindells shot it from out at the red line. His second goal of the night. Swanner, I don't think he ever saw it. And Chicago right back in it, tied up at 4-4. Time of the goal, 2-0-1 of the fourth period. Nine goals on the year for Swindells. Comrie gets his 19th assist of the year and his first point of the night. So he closes to within one point of Valencia for the league lead in scoring. For the Tied up 4-4. And Swanner coming over to the Invader bench. And that may be it for Jamie. Yep, Bill Namofsky is going to come in and play goal. Jamie has given up a couple that just didn't look too good. So Namofsky comes in with 12.59 left in the game. It's his game to win or lose. It's tied. Bill Namofsky, 6-3. 4.33 goals against average. Kramer, midfield. Right side to Pisano. Oscar with a move around Falk ahead to Kramer. Kramer's shot it was deflected and controlled in the box by Zimmerman. Long lead intercepted by Pisano. Here come the invaders. Pisano. Around Comrie. Comrie with a deflection and Falk takes it back for Chicago. Falk spin. Ball taken away by Maurer. And then Falk with a foul. And it's the second one on the Shockers in the period. Oh, and he caught now. He waved it off and called it the other way. It goes against Canton on Maurer. So Chicago will put it in play. 12-34 left in the game. It's tied 4-4. Long lead. Diving play by Moyers to head that away. And Kramer controls for Canton. Ahead to Steve Maurer. Maurer in the left corner. To Kramer. It's ahead of him, but Moyers chases it down and shovels it out to midfield to Pisano. Now on the left side to Condrich. And back on the right to Oscar. Pisano trying to move on Falk, and Falk hounded him on D. Oscar backs it up to Namofsky in the other end of the floor. Namofsky will come out to the red line. Billy out across the red line. Long lead off the boards for Mo Moyers. Moyers, shot deflected by Swindells, and coming the other way is Wolf. Swindells rolls up, goes down, and the whistle timeout for the injured Chicago player. 
with 11.51 left in the game, and we're tied at 4-4. Swindell's down. He scored two goals tonight for the Shockers. Moyers and Scarelli have two apiece for Canton. Namofsky in goal. Swanner played the first three quarters in the first 2 one of the fourth, gave up four. And now Namofsky in the net for the Invaders. Chicago red line. Comrie and Kondrich will face off for that. And uh, Swindells will go down here in the tunnel and the trainer will take a look at that foot. Back to action. Moyers has it, dumps it over to Maurer. He shoots, it's over the glass and out of play. And it'll be... Now we've got a foul against Canton on a dangerous play, apparently on Steve Moyers. That's the third foul on the Invaders with 11.47 to play in the game. Dump it back in the goal box to Zimmerman. He picks it up. Lead is too far. Three-line violation as he threw it over the head of Comrie. So the Invaders will take it back to the Chicago red line. 11.40 to play in the game. And we're tied 4-4. Top two teams in the Northern Division. Top two offensive clubs in the league. And it's been a tight battle all the way. Pisano will put it in play for Canton. And he put it right in the stage. Goal kick for Chicago. So Chicago will change lines. The Invaders will do likewise. Paxos and Timo on defense. And the forward line, the forwards are Kia and Celestin with Tobin in midfield. And it's Dosen, Karabatsis, Rincon, Matus, and Stevan for Chicago. Zimmerman in the goal box for Chicago. Outlet into the Canton end with it is Dosen. Back to the net. Tima with a deflection. Stevan gets it back. Stevan trying to get inside. And the obstruction call goes against Tobin. That's a fourth foul on Camp. Now the Invaders got to be real careful here. Only one foul to give and 11.28 left in the game. Tied 4-4. The pass blocked out of play by Tobin. We'll do it again. Four four is our score. Matus, ball intercepted by Tima. Tima coming out with it for the Invaders. Timmy up the left side of the floor. Feeds to Celeste in the midfield circle. Magic trying to get it ahead to Kia, but it was knocked away by Matus. And on one bounce goes out of play. The Invaders will put it in play. Touch line right just outside their own red line. 11-15 to go, tied 4-4. Invaders in foul trouble with four fouls. They can only give one more, and we have better than 11 minutes to play. Tima ahead for Celestin. Back to Timmy Tima. Forward for Kia. Kia trying to get around his man. Ridden away. Paxos trying to get it in the corner. Does. Now needs a feed out front. Finds Kia. Kia has to back away from Stevan, though, and clear it back to the goalkeeper, Namofsky. Namofsky ahead for Tima. Tima had the ball knocked away. Billy out of the net. Got around one man. Knocked it clear to midfield ahead to Tobin. Nifty footwork by Namofsky to get away from some trouble. There were two Chicago players in the area. Tobin had it knocked away. Paxos got it back. Rolls it in the box to Namofsky. Outlet left side midfield to Tima. Timmy on the run. He winds. He fires. And the save is knocked out of play by Zimmerman. Corner kick Canton from the left side with 10 and a half minutes left in the game. Tied up at 4-4, WHBC FM, Canton, Ohio. Invaders go on the road Wednesday to Tampa Bay. Our next broadcast is Friday, right back here against Fort Wayne. Corner kick from the left side from by Art Kramer coming up. Chicago packing the guys up in the box. Kramer. Outside, Condridge shot, knocked out of play by Comrie, and we'll do it again. Game is tied at, at four. 4,249 here. Pisano winds, fires, blocked by Comrie, and Oscar has to chase that one back to the Invader red line. Right side to Maurer, and again, it's uh, Pisano. Pisano, long lead, Moyers, back to the net in the Chicago end, out to midfield to Condridge, back edge of the circle to Pisano, taken away by Comrie, 
And that's the fifth foul as Pisano. You know, they called it on Comrie. It's the second foul on Chicago. Okay. Ball squirts loose into the zone. Zimmerman controls for Chicago. Here comes Falk up the left side. Falk in the Canton in, in the corner. Working on Condrich. And Falk clears it out midfield. It's David Wolf. Wolf down in the right corner for Comrie. Comrie with Pisano there. Comrie back to the net. Turns faces the net. Wall pass grabbed and controlled by Namoski. Straight ahead to Maurer. Maurer outlet deflected. Got it away from Swanson. Maurer ahead to Kramer. Kramer up the right side. He's got Moyers to his left. The pass blocked by Wolf and cleared out to midfield. Here is Condridge, 9.28 left in the game. Condridge, midfield on the right side, ahead to Moyers. Moyers in the corner, back to the net on the right side, out in the point to Condridge. Tomo, a couple of steps in. You got Maurer open, knocked outside Pisano. He's inside, he shoots just wide to the left. Oscar rebound, knocked out of play by Swanson. It'll be a corner kick for Canton from the right side. 9.10 to go, game is tied 4-4. And both teams will change lines. Tobin, Rudy, and Magic. Pisano and Timo on D for camp. And the five players for Chicago. Matus, Stevon, Rincon, Karabatsis, and Dozen. Trigger man from the right corner will be Don Tobin. Invader assistant coach. Outside Tima, he fires, it's out of play. Goal kick Chicago. Now, no, that was deflected, so they'll do it again. Canton will have another corner kick from the right side as soon as we get the ball back. That stage crowd throws it in, it hits the glass. Somebody else will get it. Maybe we could get those people on the stage to dress up like the dogs of Cleveland. Huh? What do you think about that? We could call the puppy pound or something over there. There aren't as many of them. <laughs> Outside Tima. Tima trying to control along the boards. Ball knocked away. Holding call against Tima. That's the fifth foul on the Invaders with 9.04 left in the game. So one more foul would give Chicago a power play. Shockers haven't had one tonight. Invaders have had four. They've scored on two of them. And we're tied at 4-4 with 9.04 to play. Zimmerman in the box. Long lead. Dosen had it taken away by Paxos. Oh, he knocked it right to Stevon. What a save by Namovsky on the shot by Ruben Stevon. Here comes Rudy. Rudy and Magic, two on three. Magic on the right side across the red line. Magic trying to get inside. Matus does to Rudy. Rudy can't get the shot away. Knocked away out front over the glass and out of play. And it hit Pikazinski last. It'll be a goal kick for Chicago. Boy, Namofsky just earned his pay right there with that save. Stevon from point blank range and Billy able to come up big in front of the invader net. 8.39 left in the game. It's tied at 4-4. 31 game home field winning streak on the line for Canton. They will still lead the Northern Division. Will it be by one game or by three? Zimmerman, outlet, midfield. Paxos knocked it away. Here come the invaders on the attack. Paxos trying to move around a man. Wanted magic and the ball taken away by Rincon. Coming the other way. Rincon shovels it ahead for Dosen. Dosen working on Tima, right side. Dosen, magic deflected from behind and Tima slaps it into Namofsky. Namofsky long lead for Pikasinski, but it's headed out of play by Wendell. The Invaders will put it in from the right side at midfield with 8-12 to play. And again, the Invaders with five fouls, Chicago with two. So the next foul by Canton puts the Shockers in the man advantage. Oscar Pisano will put it in play from the right side at midfield. The kramer mauer Moyers line is in out front with Pisano and Condrich, the two defenders. Left side midfield, this is Tomo Kondrich. Ahead for Moyers. Moyers trying to feed out front. There's nothing open there, and he drops it back outside to Kondrich. Tomo, right side for Pisano. Comrie went for the steal, didn't get it. And they back it up out front. Kondrich, left side to Kramer. Knocked away. Moyers trying to control him, didn't get it. Coming the other way is uh, Swindells for Chicago. 
Swindells was injured earlier. Moyers knocked the ball away from behind. Nemofsky controls. Ahead to Maurer. Maurer move. Wolf with a sliding play to knock it free. Condrich will get it back for Canton. Ahead for Pisano. Pisano up the right side. He winds. He shoots. Just missed it wide on the left side. Rebound comes out to Moyers. Heals it back to Maurer. 7.28 to go. And Maurer centering ball knocked away. It's up in the air. And one of the fans touched it and knocked it back in. Hit last by Chicago. And we'll have a TV timeout. We'll keep it here with 7.24 left in the game. Led 4-3. Chicago has the only goal of this period. The second of the night by Swindells. After the Invaders had scored, outscored him 4-1 in the third. Magic Celestin working in the left corner on Matus. Outside of the point to Tima. Tima fires into the stage. Goal kick Chicago with 7-10 left in the game. Final score in Toledo we just heard. Memphis wins it 6-3. So Memphis ups their record to 9 and 11 on the year and Toledo falls to 3 and 16. Memphis only their third win of the year on the road. 4-4 is our score here under 7 minutes to go. Long lead picked away by Namaski. Ahead Tobin leaves it for Kia up. Pass behind Tobin. Here comes Karabatsis trying to get inside Tima can't do it shot blocked. And Timmy trying to clear out. And they can't do it. It's up in the air. Paxos heads it away. Dumped back in by Rincon. Dosen in the corner. Tried to fire. Didn't get a piece of it. And Tima takes it away from Karabatsis. Ahead to Celestin. The magic man. Up the left side of the floor. Round one, round two. Celestin. Ahead on the right side to Tobin. Tobin has to back it up to midfield. This is Mike Paxos with it. 6-17 left in the game. Tied up at 4-4. Bill Namoski in front of the invader net. Namoski pushes it forward for Tima left side. Back to Namoski. 6.06 to play. Billy, long lead for Magic, and it's knocked out of play by Matus. Invaders will put it in play left side at midfield, and they'll change lines. Moyers, Maurer, and, T and Kramer up front. And it'll be Condrich and Pisano on defense. Comrie, Swindells, and Falk, the forward line for Chicago. Wendell and Wolf, the defenders for the Shockers. Invaders attacking from our left to our right, the stage end of the Civic Center. That's the net they want to put the ball into. Pisano ahead for Moyers. Moyers back to the net, right side, double team in the Chicago end. Ball squirts loose, Comrie gets it. Knocked away and coming up the floor with it is Swindells. Swindells long lead, up the right side, Wendell. Namoski out of the net. Knocks it ahead for Condrich. Comrie tried to take it away. Out front to Falk. Falk in front of the arc. Back up to midfield to Swindells. And now Comrie. 537 left in the game. Comrie trying to get inside. Condrich with a deflection. And it goes in the box where Namoski holds on. Five and a half minutes to go. Game is tied 4-4. Pisano pushes it up the left side of the floor for Condrich. Condrich. Inside, the ball went past Moyers in the corner and rolls around the boards into the box. Zimmerman holds on there. The Chicago goalkeeper, long lead, and it's too far. Three-line violation on the Shockers. Take it back to the Chicago red line with 5-11 to play. Invaders have not scored in this period. All four of their goals coming in the third quarter tonight. Kramer to put it in play for Canton. Back to Pisano. He fires. It's blocked. Kramer tries to head it up in the air. Condrich has it. He fires up against the boards. It hits the top of the boards. Comes out. Kramer tries to head it in. It's headed back out by Swindells. And now Falk. Falk fell down and dumped it back into Wolf. Wolf rolls it in the box for Zimmerman. Zimmerman, outlet, headed back by Pisano. And it's knocked away there by Wendell. Wendell had the ball knocked away by Maurer. Maurer tried to get it to Moyers, but it was cleared by Wolf. Comrie will have it at midfield for Chicago. Comrie working on Condrich up the right side of the floor. Double team Kramer. Condrich with a deflection taken by Pisano. 4.49 left to play. Pisano, good move to get around Comrie. Pisano, left side. He winds. He fires. No. Rebound loose out front. Scooped in and controlled by Zimmerman. Outlet midfield left side. Knocked away. Condrich ahead to Moyers. Moyers, left side to Pisano. Tried to get it back to Moyers and knocked away. And Pisano has it back for the Invaders. Oscar had it deflected, but chases it back in the midfield circle. 4.23 to play. Left side midfield is Don Tobin. Tobin for Steve Maurer. 
Maurer heels for Tobin on the give and go. Sliding play by Zimmerman to knock it away, but the ball's still free. Moyers in the corner to Maurer, left side. Back to Moyers, he shoots and put it out of play. 4-10 left in the game, another goal kick for Chicago. And remember again, the Invaders have five fouls. Zimmerman will start the play on the goal kick. Game is tied 4-4. Zimmerman taps it over to uh, Matus and back to Zimmerman in the box. He picks it up. Long outlet, and it's a three-line violation again as he threw it over the head of Dozen. Invaders will put it in play from the Chicago red line. Don Tobin there. Toby, right side to Celestin. Couple of steps in, trying to get it to Rudy, and it was knocked away, and Folk comes up with it. Or check that, it's Dosen. Rudy knocks it around, away from Karabatsis. Namoski controls in the box. 350 left in the game. Tima leaves it left side for Tobin. Now across the floor on the right side for Mike Paxos. Paxos forward for Tim Tima. 338 left in the game. Tima for the Magic Man. Celestin. Midfield circle around one. Trying to get around Rincon. Ahead for Rudy. He shoots. Oh, what a play by Zimmerman. Up against the post off the shot by Rudy. Matus trying to clear. Tima deflects it back. And Stevan ends up with it for Chicago. Outlet midfield, and Dosen got inside Paxos. Dosen shoots, kick save and a beauty by Namoski. Knocks it out of play. Chicago will put it in play. Touchline left side with 3.15 left to go in the game. And they'll switch lines. Tie game, 4-4. Hang on to your seats. Crunch time coming up at the Civic Center. Brinkon, right point, shot wide, follow, and Comrie with a follow, and it's controlled by Namoski. Short outlet on the left side to Tima. Tima, midfield, left side to Celestin. Three minutes left in the game. Celestin for Rudy. Rudy around, he shoots through Magic Bicycle kick up in the air. Rudy had it knocked away. Tima has it at midfield to Kondrich. Ahead to Magic, 247. In the corner, Rudy shot no. Zimmerman with a save, grabs it and holds on. Don Tobin was the guy who took the shot. Rudy was the guy they were trying to get it to. 236 left in the game. Long lead, nobody home for Chicago in the Canton end. Kondrich controls over to Tima on the left side. Team it is Celestin, 2.27 to play. Celestin across the red line, around one, around two, to Rudy, and he lost the ball in front of him, and Zimmerman grabbed it and held on. 2.18 left to go. Up the right side of the floor is Louis Matus. Now Karabatsis, Chris across the Canton red line, Tobin on D, around one, he shoots. Namoski with another big save. Comrie off the rebound for Chicago, deflected by Kondrich. Karabatsis gets it back over to Matus. Matus around the right side, working on Maurer. Matus into the boards, trying to draw the foul, took a dive, and he got the call. Maurer didn't touch it. Terrible call. That's the sixth foul. Maurer was backing away to avoid the call, and he just took a dive and fell down, and he got the call. Incredible. And Chicago will go on the power play with a minute 53 left in the game. So they would have the power play for the remainder of the game. And if there's an overtime for the first seven seconds of the overtime. Well, first power play opportunity for Chicago. That comes on a highly questionable call. Maurer was backing away to avoid having that happen. The man took a dive. Referee was looking right at the play. Certainly should have been able to see what was going on and called the foul. Fun bunch is in. 
Ian Maynard penalty killers. Kramer, Frick, Tima, and Kondrich. Steven lost it back at midfield. A minute 43 left in regulation. Shockers will have the man advantage for that long unless they score. Dosen. Left side centers for Comrie. Knocked away. Steven has it back at midfield. Right side Swindells. Back to Steven. Minute 25. Shot blocked by Kramer. Headed in the box. Loose out front. Namofsky grabs it and holds on. Namofsky. Long lead for Frick. Frick trying to get around Steven up the left side. Fricky turns spin move trying to clear it out. Swind Wendell knocked it in. And Steven coming the other way. Frick sliding play, tried to knock it away, didn't get it. They forward ahead to Dosen. Minute four left. Dosen winds, fires, no. Blocked out of play by Tiva. Minute one left in regulation. Chicago on the man advantage. Shockers will put it in play from the left corner. Elvis Comrie, the trigger man. Chicago power play, 27% on the year, 18 of 68. 77% for the Invader penalty killers. 11 of 48. Centering ball, and Namoski just got a hold of that. Off the feed by Rincon. He lost it for a second. It started to go between his legs, and he was able to hang on. 50 seconds left in the regulation time. Outlet, high arch to midfield. Stevon. Now it's uh, Swindells. 42 seconds left. And Stevon ahead Swindells on the right side. He winds, he fires, out of play. Goal kick Canton, 36 seconds left in regulation. The game is tied 4-4. Chicago still in the power play. Invaders will have the goal kick. Goal kick Canton, 36 seconds left to go in regulation play. Nail biting time at the Civic Center. Bill Namoski to put it in play for Canton. Taps it to Tima. Back to Namofsky. Now nope, they're going to make him do it again. Said it wasn't outside the line. The guy was 30 feet away when he called it. I'm sure he can see whether the ball's outside the line or not. Now they tap it back in. 32 seconds. Namofsky, lead ball for Frick. Frick got inside a man, but it was too far. Three-line violation. 28 seconds left. Take it back to the Canton red line. Now they'll bring it up to the red line. 28 seconds left. They put it in play. Karabatsis left side. Working on Kramer. Back out at the red line to Stevon. Middle of the floor. 20 seconds. Karabatsis. Left side. Couple of steps in on Kramer. Now on the right side it goes to Dosen. Back outside Stevon. 10 seconds. Stevon shot. Blocked by Tima. Comrie follow. Blocked by Tima. Comrie got it again. Four seconds. And shot, no, blocked by Tima again, and we go to overtime. Tima blocked three, one of them with his face. And we go to overtime. Oh, boy. The Invader penalty killer is doing the job. There will still be seven seconds of the penalty left in overtime. Depending on who gets the kickoff, that may not matter. The invaders get the kickoff and they chew it up. So we go to overtime. Just about ready to get going in the overtime period. Sudden death, first goal wins. Neither team has lost in OT this year. Invaders 3-0, Chicago 1-0. Shockers to control the kickoff as they won the coin toss. And here we go. Karabatsis and Dosen in the circle. And they drop it back. Matusa ahead to Rincon. Right side, shot deflected up and high in the air and out of play by Condridge. Penalty's over. And it'll be a corner kick for Chicago as Tobin steps out on the floor for the Invaders. Steve Frick will stay in and play forward on the line with Rudy. Tima and Kondrich on D. 
And the kick from the corner, shot blocked by Frick, and we got Rudy on the run. If he gets inside Rincon, he does. He feeds Frick. He got around Zimmerman, sliding play to knock it away. Good play by the keeper, Zimmerman, to come out and scissor that ball and knock it away from Steve Frick. Thought it was going to end early for a second there. Steve on in the can man. Tima steps inside on the boards and gets position. Ahead to Tobin. And now Pekosinski. Rudy got around. Taken down. That should be two. They won't call it two. They'll give a, a foul to uh, Dosen. First foul of the overtime. We played 35 seconds. Kick in left side at midfield for Don Tobin for the Invaders. 4-4. Four, four, we're in OT. Uh, head to Steve Frick. Frick trying to get around. Ball deflected. Tobin got it back for Canton. Tobin ahead for Frick. Fricky shot partially deflected. And they clear it out on the point. And coming the other way is Karabatsis. Karabatsis spin move. And Frick drops back on D. Now Louis Matus. Matus outside the red line. Sends it long. Now he was not outside the red line. Three line violation. 14.06 left in overtime. Rudy Pikasinski dumps it down on the spot. And Tobin will put it in play for Canton. From the Chicago red line. Toby looking in. Toby airborne for Rudy. Back to Tobin. And Tobin dumps it out to Tima. Tima trying to get it over to Frick. Taken away. And coming the other way is Stevon. Stevon with a move around one. Stevon on the right side. And Fricky took the ball away from behind. And steers it in the goal box for Bill Namofsky. Namofsky long outlet for Don Tobin. Off his chest to his feet. Right side at midfield. Now back in front of the goal arc to Tim Tima. Tima ahead to Mike Paxos. Paxos in the Chicago end. In the corner for Steve Maurer. Maurer around one. He shoots no. Rebound loose out front. Rudy had it knocked away. He was getting held all over the place. Still getting held by Zimmerman. And uh, Zimmerman able to drag him down. And they don't get the call out front. 13-25. Maurer trying to get away from a double team along the boards. Gets inside Matus. And Rincon able to knock it away. Comes out to Falk. Falk clears to Comrie. Comrie turns around and finds Tima there and drops it over to Stevon. Stevon, red line, ahead for Chicago. Comrie in a race with Tima in the corner. And Comrie working back to the net on the right side. Knocked out front. Don Tobin tries to steer it away, but Comrie steps inside and knocked inside one. Comrie got inside. He shoots. No, what a save by Namofsky. And loose outside again, and this time Tima has it in the corner. Timmy trying to work outside a man and gets, gets around Falk. And the ball knocked away by Swindells, but Maurer has it for Canton. And Maurer will dump it back in the goal box for Bill Namofsky. 12.35 left in the first overtime. First goal, and it's over. Oscar Pozzano off the invader bench, left side midfield. Oscar Pozzano coming up the floor, ridden down, foul on Swindells. And that's the second one on Chicago in overtime, none on the invaders. And they'll put it in play back outside near the red line. Kramer to put it in play for the Invaders. Artie looks right, feeds left to Tomo. Kondrich in the corner, left side for Moyer, Mowers. Up in the air for Rudy, but it's picked off on the fly by Zimmerman. Quick outlet, Folk up the left side at midfield for Chicago. Folk sends it ahead and caught on the fly by Namoski. Quickly for Rudy. Rudy trying to get inside. Wolf does. Had to wait on the ball, though. And that gave Wolf time to get back ahead to Kramer. Kramer couldn't get the feed. Leaves it for Rudy. Rudy, right corner. Ahead to Maurer. Maurer on the right side. And Kondrich with a shot block. Rudy gets it back. Posts it out front to Maurer. Maurer, he feeds inside. Nobody home for it. And Swindells clears. Kondrich will take it away at midfield. Invaders back on the attack. Comrie steps in front of Tomo. And he clears back at the Canton red line to Oscar Pizzano. Now Kondrich right side at midfield. 11.37 left in the overtime. In the first overtime. Kondrich winds, fires into the corner. Wendell clears out for Chicago, and Pisano flags it down at midfield. Invaders keeping the pressure on, but they haven't been able to put it away yet. Ahead to Kia. Kia trying to work around Wolf. Wolf clears midfield, but Kondrich has it again. Back in the goal box for Namofsky, and ahead for Oscar Pisano. Pisano left side at midfield, ahead for Kramer. Kramer open in left corner. He fires just wide to the right. That didn't miss by much. Kia taps it back out, right side to Kondrich, midfield circle to Pisano. Pisano back in the goal box for Namofsky. Billy forward to Kramer, Kramer left side midfield, back to Pisano. 10.50 in the overtime, we've played a little more than four minutes now. Ahead it comes to Moyers. 
Moyers trying to get inside him and does key his shot block. And coming the other way for Chicago is Dozen. They attack two on two. Dozen, ball knocked away from behind by Kia, and obstruction is going to be called up front on Condrich. That's the first foul on Canton in the overtime period. And Matus will put the ball in play in the Canton defensive end. Outside, Rincon shot deflected, no. Bicycle kick by Pisano to clear it away. They dump it back in the right corner to Dosen. Dosen back to the net on Condrich. Tobin to double team. And Kia over to help out. Still loose out front. Kia comes away with it. Ahead to Moyers. Moyers on the break, but Zimmerman out of the net to clear it away. And knocks it out to Stevon at midfield. And they shovel it over Karabatsis. Karabatsis trying to get inside Tobin. Obstruction on Karabatsis. And Don Tobin will put it in play for Canton. Third foul on Chicago. 10-10 in overtime. Kia, midfield, drops it back in the Canton end to Pisano. Oscar across the red line. Long lead for Tobin in left corner. Rincon heads it into the crowd. Invaders will put it in play. Touchline left side in the Chicago end. We played exactly five minutes of overtime. Game is tied 4-4. Don Tobin to put the ball in play for the Invaders. Tobin leaves it for Tima. Tima to Tobin. Ball deflected by Karabatsis. Tima took it back. Tima to Moore as he knocked it in the stage. Goal kick Chicago. 9.54 in OT. Grandma put some new batteries in the pacemaker. We're going to need it. 9.54 in overtime. Zimmerman, long outlet. Stevon, Canton red line on the right side. Tobin on D, trying to get inside. Toby does, looking for a feed, loose. Paxos off his chest, controlled by Namoski. I'd let the Moyers. Moyers, left side at the red line, now on the right side to Mike Paxos. Paxos to Tima. Tima, ahead for Tobin. Tobin, out front for Moyers. Moyers loose, Zimmerman comes out to kick it away in the corner. Paxos gets it back for Canton. Loose out front to Moyers, to Kia. He shoots, he scores! the goal. I think Moyers on the assist, but let's wait for sure. Yep, Steve Moyers on the assist. And the Invaders win it 5-4 in overtime. The streak at 32. Bill Namofsky, the winner. Paul Zimmerman, the loss. Game-winning goal to Kia. Invaders now 15-4. and four. They take a three-game lead. We come back in a minute. Thank you. 